All right, thanks for your consent. Let's start with introductions. We'll start with the board leads. Um, maybe I'll ask the board members to introduce themselves by telling us their name, pronouns, when they joined the uh, South Philly Food Co-op Board of Directors, and what they haven't been enjoying lately in the South Philly Food Co-op, what kind of food or other items. Um, so I'll go first and then I'll hand it off. Um, my name's Beckett. Um, my name, I go by he, him pronouns. Um, I joined the South Philly Food Co-op Board um, last summer, um, less than a year now. Um, and my latest um, kind of favorites of the South Philly Co uh, Food Co-op have been the dripped cold brew and the kind of takeout to go items, like those little wraps. Um, they've been really good for my lunches lately. Um, so cool, I'll hand it off to um, Eliza. Hi, I'm Eliza Kinsey. I use she, her pronouns, um, and I am in my fourth year on the board, so at the end of my second term. Um, and I really like the Sum chocolate tahini bread. Um, I like to put it on like apples or toast, kind of like Nutella. It's delicious. And I'll pass it off to Brendan. Going to Brendan, uh, he, him pronouns. Um, this is the, I joined the, the board with Becca last year, a year ago. Um, I've been with, I've been a member of the co op since it's like December 2020 um, when I first moved to South Philly. And I think right now my favorite thing at the co op is the big fan of the, the Woodstock peanut butter. Um, um, yeah, I think that's 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 my go-to right now. Um, but I'll I'll pass it off to A. Hey everybody, good morning. My name is Anthony. You can call me A. My pronouns are they them. Um, I joined the board in 2020. I'm in the third year of board service in the middle of my second term. Um, I love all of the produce at the at the co-op, but I particularly love the spinach. It just like is unmatched with any other spinach I've had. So highly recommend. Um, and I'll pass it to Molly. Hi, I'm Molly Devlin. I use she, her pronouns. Um, I got elected to the board last summer. And my favorite thing at the call right now is either the chicken salad in the little to go section or the growlers of kombucha, because I've just like been bringing it to parties and people really like that. <laughs> Great idea. Cool. So yeah, anyone else? I think Molly, that was it. Cool. Awesome. Thanks so much, everybody. Um, so now we can uh, move on to the participant introductions. Um, feel free to introduce yourself by telling us your name, pronoun, and pronouns, and when you joined um, the South Philly Food Co-op as a member, owner, or shopper. And also tell us your favorite thing. Is it just me? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll go first then. <laughs> My name is Jackie Boone. I use she, her pronouns. Um, I, I think I joined the co-op in 2020, like right before, right before they opened the official store. I was involved in, or I was, wasn't, I did some of the like bulk buys before they had a, an official store. Um, my favorite thing right now and for a while are the, the tortilla chips. I don't remember what the brand is, but they're the like fresh style ones in the yellow bag. And they're, I think made in Westchester and they're, they're delicious. Um, yeah. Yeah. I brought some to a Super Bowl party and people were like, wow, like these chips are awesome. I'm like, oh yeah, they are. <laughs> I have a bag of them in my kitchen right now. <laughs> cool. Awesome. So yeah, I guess no one, no other participants have joined. We had four other people sign up, but I, I, I don't know if it was for March or for this one, but we'll see if they pop in. So um, anyway, our goals for this meeting are to introduce the South Philly Food Co-op, um, explain what the board of directors is and kind of what our responsibilities are and the board of directors um, election process. So if you have any questions during the presentation, Jackie, I mean, feel free to unmute yourself or put in the chat. Um, and yeah, I'll pass it off to Eliza and I think we can get started. Great, thanks Beckett. Um, and since it's, uh, you know, a very small group, I hope that this is really informal. Don't feel like you 
you know, feel free to jump in, add stuff. Um, other board members, Jackie, if you have questions, feel free to pop them in the chat or unmute yourself. I don't, I don't mind being um, interrupted as I go through the slides. Um, all right, Beckett, do you want to? Okay, yeah, here's our agenda. So for today, we're going to talk about co-ops um, sort of generally, and then talk a little bit more specifically about the South Philly Food Co-op. Um, we'll describe a bit about what member ownership means um, and give you a bit of background on the board of directors and what our responsibilities are as board members. Um, and then at the end, A is going to go over the election process in some more detail. So first about co-ops. Um, cooperatives are uh, uh, democratically owned businesses that are owned by uh, member owners, and they form when a group of community members come together to form um, an organization to advance a shared mission. In our case, the South Philly Food Co-op obviously is a grocery store. Um, it's formed by member, member owners and neighbors from within the South Philly community. And we are a consumer co-op, which means that we are a purchasing organization that's owned and operated for the benefit of the people who shop at the store. Um, South Philly Food Co-op and other co-ops from around the world uh, follow these same seven core cooperative principles that are outlined by the International Cooperative Alliance. They are open and voluntary membership. And this means that um, they're open to everyone uh, who is able to use their services and willing to accept the responsibilities of membership. Um, and there's no discrimination by um, gender, race, socioeconomic status, political orientation, or religious orientation, um, to name some. Uh, democratic member control is the next cooperative principle. Um, and that means that cooperatives are democratic organizations who are controlled by their members who all have equal voting uh, power and who can actively participate in setting policies and making decisions that govern um, the co-op. Member economic participation, uh, members contribute equitably to the capital of the co cooperative. And part of that is through the um, membership dues. Uh, autonomy and independence. So cooperatives are autonomous self-help organizations that are controlled by their members. We're not owned by a larger corporation. Um, if we enter into agreements with other organizations or raise capital from external sources, we ensure that democratic control um, uh, remains with the membership and that the, the organization, the cooperative is able to maintain their autonomy and doesn't become part of, you know, sort of um, operated or governed by some other organization. Um, education, training, and information. So cooperatives provide education and training for their members, for their elected representatives, as well as for their um, employees so that they can, can contribute effectively to the development of the cooperative. And that's really a big part of our sort of mission and how we um, see our, our role within the community. Six is cooperation among cooperatives. So um, the idea here is that cooperatives serve their members most effectively and strengthen the cooperative movement um, more broadly by working together through local, national, uh, regional, and international structures. So there's a lot of cooperation, um, you know, among grocery store co-ops and other types of co-ops. We do a lot of working with the other co-ops in the community um, and working together to strengthen that cooperative movement. And then seven, um, concern for community. So cooperatives work for the sustainable development of their communities through policies and services that are approved by their members. And we really do view ourselves as being part of the South Philly community and, and um, being having responsibility towards, towards the community. So next slide, Beckett. So these are our cooperative values. Um, and they're a combo of the international cooperative um, principles that I showed on the last slide, as well as values that were identified by our member owners um, and the board, as well as the Food Justice and Equity Committee. Um, and they include democracy, social responsibility, caring for others, equity, equality, solidarity, honesty, openness, self-help, and self-responsibility. Um, and I do just want to note that it generally, as part of our election process, we do ask that um, prospective board members will talk a little bit about the cooperative, cooperative principles that I showed on the previous slide or about these cooperative values and kind of reflect on uh, maybe one or two of those principles that they feel, you know, particularly aligned with or feel like is um, particularly important. Um, so I'll just pause there to see if anyone has anything they want to add or if anyone has any questions. Okay, we can go on to the next section, which is about us. 
Um, so we are a fresh food grocery store um, that is community owned and open to the public. Um, as part of our mission, we endeavor to support local farmers and producers as much as possible um, through the representation of products in the store, as well as the other vendors that we work with. Um, and we serve as a hub for the community. Uh, so a little bit of a timeline of our history. It's been a long process to being a fully open brick and mortar retail grocery store. Um, the very first organizational meeting was held in the spring of 2010. Um, and we sort of gradually built up member owners and started having um, meetings to figure out how to actually get a store open. In October of 2016, we signed the lease for our store um, on Juniper Street. We hired a campaign manager and did a lot of fundraising over the course of the next several years. Um, in the spring of 2019, we hosted our groundbreaking for the store um, and hired our general manager, Lori Birch. Uh, and then uh, lots more fundraising, global pandemic, you know, the, you know the, the spiel and finally had our grand opening um, just before the new year um, in December of 2020. So our mission is using food as a force for good at our tables, in our community and for our planet. Um, and this is something that we endeavor to um, incorporate into all of the operations of our store. Um, our general manager reports on end statements for the board, and these help us sort of evaluate how we're um, meeting our mission and building, building uh, sort of all operations of the store towards our mission. And our commitment is to provide residents of all income levels access to fresh, local, and sustainable groceries. We are committed to social and economic justice, and we aim to preserve and nurture the cultural heritage of our neighbors. The co-op is open to everyone, not just members, because we believe that all people should have a place at our table. All right, any questions about the store itself before I move on to the next section? Anything anyone wants to add? Okay, so member ownership. Um, South Philly Food Co-op is de democratically owned and controlled by our member owners, as are all co-ops. Um, these member owners are shoppers and others who join to advance our mission. And we believe that everyone should have access to healthy, wholesome food. Um, and our community equity fund uh, and other programs help to bridge access to our local foods. So I believe on the next slide, there's a little bit of info about, uh, oh, sorry, Beckett. Um, but as, as you may know, Jackie, member ownership uh, involves a, a $300 uh, member investment. And for households who qualify, um, oh, here we go. Thanks, Beckett. Um, that can all, either be paid uh, as a one-time investment of $300, or it, it can be paid through flexible um, installment plans. And then for those who qualify, we also are able to lower the price of member ownership through our community equity fund scholarships, which make it possible for households of different um, socioeconomic backgrounds to be members within the store. Sorry, Becca, did I skip ahead? Yeah, okay, we'll go back to our member benefits. So there are a number of benefits to being a member of a South Lake Food Co-op. Um, one is that we're able to um, serve our community and build the local equity needed for South Philly to thrive. Um, another is that member owners are able to um, elect members of the board and are also able to run for the board. So can be part of a democratic election process. Um, we have owner appreciation days um, throughout the year where members get special discounts and enjoy free product samples. It's usually sort of a party at the store, a fun time to, to go shopping if you're able to make it on those days. Um, members are able to access bulk discounts and they can save on case quantities and get special deals when they order um, large, large products of quantity or quantities of product, excuse me. Um, local business discounts through our um, Shop South Philly program you're able to save at over 40 participating local businesses if you show your member card or um, let the shopkeepers know that you're a member at the South Philly Food Co-op. And then we also provide workshops and events um, for members and community members who can participate 
Um, we've done things on composting, on um, gardening, on uh, cooking classes. There have been a wide variety of different types of workshops um, and events that we've offered. Any questions about member ownership? Um, I, sh I think A, we'll go over this, but it is a requirement in order to run for the board that you are a member owner who is in good standing with your equity investment. And then um, a little bit about the board of directors. Um, so our board of directors is responsible for governing the co-op. We're not responsible for managing employees, we just govern the co-op. Um, we are elected by member owners to act on their behalf with the goal of making decisions in the best interest of the collective organization and the community. Um, board of directors elections take place at our annual general membership meeting, which is always in the spring. Each director serves a two-year term starting um, generally in July, so starting the summer following the elections. Um, and the board is composed of anywhere from nine to 11 uh, volunteer, so non-compensated um, members. Eligible candidates have to be over 18 years old and as I said, in good standing on their member owner equity investment. Um, so this is a summary and apologies for the small text of the responsibilities for um, board members. So, uh, the role of the board is to represent our member owners, to direct and inspire the co-op and to ensure appropriate performance. And in order to govern successfully, we have these seven um, sort of board responsibilities. Uh, the first is to practice, protect, promote and perpetuate a healthy democracy for our co-op. So this uh, includes maintaining uh, good communication with our member owners, educating ourselves on diverse needs and perspectives and doing um, regular reporting on the board's activities and decisions to the member ownership. We are also responsible for hiring um, and setting compensation for and delegating responsibility to the general manager. Uh, we also assign responsibility through written policies in a way that honors our commitment to empowerment and clear distinction of roles. It is part of our responsibility to regu regularly and rigorously monitor the general manager's, manager's performance in the areas of ends and executive limitations. And we do this regularly through our board meetings. Um, we regularly and rigorously also evaluate our own performance as a board um, in comparison to our agreements uh, as written in board process and board management relationship policies. So we, we make sure that we're constantly evaluating um, our work as well as the general managers. And then we perpetuate the board's leadership capacity through robust recruitment um, of new uh, board members, um, as well as through appointments, fair elections, and ongoing education and training. Um, and lastly, we perform other duties as required by the bylaws or because of limitations on the general manager's authority. So that's a long list, um, but if, if elected to the board, um, we do uh, really rigorous sort of onboarding and um, uh, training so that folks feel prepared and ready to serve in their board, um, their board duties. And we don't, we don't just drop people into the deep end. There's a lot of, sort of training and um, work that goes into making sure that folks feel ready and, and comfortable to fulfill the rules. So in order to stay in compliance with our bylaws, we are electing between five and six new um, directors for this uh, in this election cycle. Um, some of our current um, directors will be running for re-election and a small number of directors are actually rolling off the board at the end of their, their terms. Um, we are looking, we're always looking for sort of a broad range of skills and competencies, but in particular this year, we're really um, interested to find folks who have um, expertise in some of the areas that, that are rolling off uh, in, the, in the current board of directors. And that includes in the areas of finance, marketing, outreach, personnel management, community engagement, event planning, and project management. Um, and more specifically, we are looking for um, this, this list of competencies below. Uh, and folks don't need to have expertise in all these areas, but in one or several is, is great and appreciated. So 
um, appreciation for and experience with good governance and group process, ability to think strategically, um, holding that big picture in mind, as well as little details uh, at the same time, organizational and financial development, um, training curriculum and professional development, community engagement, outreach, recruitment, um, as well as volunteer, volunteer management, event planning and project management, um, there are frequently opportunities for public speaking, if that's something that folks are excited about or um, feel comfortable with. Problem solving, negotiation and diplomacy, always an eagerness to learn and a really strong attention and sort of commitment to the community. So are there any questions about board responsibilities? Yeah, I have a I have a couple of questions about like related to the list you just shared. Um, I guess and they they might go together, but like my first question is like, are there specific like skills that you're looking for right now, like areas like gaps that you see in the board that you're looking to fill? And my second question is like, do board members have specific like roles, or does everyone kind of collectively do everything? Yeah, so those are great questions. Um, the the specific areas I would say that we're looking to fill in, if other folks want to jump in, um, feel free, but are really around sort of um, project management, um, as well as community outreach and community engagement, um, and personnel management, so any experience with HR. Um, I know that's an area that uh, we had a, a director who had a particular expertise in that, and they rolled off a couple of years ago, and we haven't filled that, that slot yet. Um, are there other things? A or anyone else that you think are definite targets for this election cycle? I think I think those are uh, really great, Eliza, to highlight, and um, and also just like the attention to community. You know, people who love South Philly and want to be a part of a team of people who are building community around the store. I think are always uh, folks that we're paying particular attention to invite onto the board with us. Yeah, I agree. And Jackie, I'm sorry, can you repeat your second question? Yeah, um, do board uh, do board directors have specific roles? Um, yeah. Yes, so um, every board uh, member has to serve, it attends the general board meetings that happen every month, um, but everyone is also responsible for serving on one committee. Um, and those committees, some, I think, often align with what people's sort of areas of expertise or interest is. So we have a membership committee, um, we have a governance committee, and we have a finance committee. And then there's also the executive committee, and that's the group of um, sort of uh, folks who sit in the executive position. So president, vice president, treasurer, and secretary. Um, and yeah, I think often folks will select the committee that they serve on based on their sort of area of expertise or their particular interests. Got it, thank you. And I'll just note that those committee meetings also happen once a month. So in general, your obligation in terms of time is the monthly board meeting, which is two and a half hours, and then the monthly committee meeting, which is an hour. All right, I will pass it off to A to talk a bit more about the election process. Thanks, Liza, for talking us through that. Um, so this is an optional information session to learn just generally about you know, what we're up to at the Board of Directors. And then we also have uh, some optional board meetings uh, that are open for observation. So if you're interested, Jackie, in you know, attending a board meeting and learning a little bit more about like what it actually looks like to do this work. Um, we will share those dates and that information in a follow-up email after this meeting. So that's kind of like the next step in this process. If you're just interested in exploring more about, um, uh, you know, what it looks like to serve on the board. When you are ready, or if you are ready to declare your candidacy, the process looks like completing this Google form that um, is pictured on the slide. And we'll share the Google form in the follow-up email as well. Um, it's also linked on our website. This Google form just asks some questions to candidates generally about like, when did you join the board? Why are you interested? You know, what's your personal statement that we can share in outreach materials with member owners when they start voting? 
Um, and then it also asks questions about availability for a Meet the Candidates event. So this declaration of candidacy form is due uh, Friday, March 31st at midnight. So you have an entire month to kind of continue to sit in this space of exploring uh, whether or not you're interested in joining the board and then completing this form. And then the next step would be attending a Meet the Candidates event. Um, the Meet the Candidates event will be with all the candidates who have declared their candidacy. Um, and that will kind of like open the voting process. And then member owners will have two weeks to vote and voting will close at our general membership meeting. And then early um, June, we'll be following up with candidates to confirm their interest in serving on the board. And then July would be when the actual uh, board service starts for new newly elected candidates. Um, so all that is to say, you know, sort of next thing to be thinking about is uh, whether or not you're interested in attending an optional board meeting for observation, and then this declaration of candidacy form would be the formal opportunity for you to say, yes, I'm interested in becoming a candidate. Um, next slide. Cool. So I think I just talked through all of this, but just to reiterate a little bit, um, you know, the Meet the Candidates event will be an opportunity for candidates to introduce themselves to member owners. And then member owners would start voting soon thereafter. So we're thinking about um, hosting our Meet the Candidates event around the first weekend of May. And those dates are in the Declaration of Candidacy form. So when you declare your candidacy, you can offer your availability for that event. And then we'll follow up and we'll schedule it. Um, soon thereafter, member owners would start voting. They would have two weeks to, to cast their ballots either in the store, um, online, or via mail. And then at the general membership meeting, um, we would sort of informally close voting and invite folks to cast their ballots within 30 minutes following the meeting close time. And then that evening, we would know um, who was elected to the board. Uh, Eliza mentioned this earlier, but to remain in compliance with our bylaws, we are uh, electing five to six directors this year. Um, so new directors would be paired with a board buddy at the beginning of their board service, and then the term would actually start in July of 2023. Any questions um, about the, the process or sort of what happens next, um, or any additions from board members? Cool. Well, I will, um, I'll put some of these dates in the chat. Uh, so if you are interested in joining, you know, our next uh, board information session, you are more than welcome to, although it'll be the same exact conversation, so it is not necessary. And then I'll also include the dates for our um, board meetings for observation. Great. Um, yeah, I, I think that concludes our presentation. Jackie, if you have any questions, um, now's a good time. But uh, since you're the only one, I already asked a few questions. Understand if you don't. Um, yeah, no, thanks for joining. Um, yeah, ho hopefully you run for a uh, for position on the board. And we have a, a few really talented people leaving the board and need some people to fill in. Um, it's a good opportunity. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for hosting this session. Um, if I were, if I want to attend one of the board meetings for observation, like what would be the process to sign, like to sign up and get the information for that? I feel like I can. Yeah, that, that's a good point. I, I, I was going to send a follow up email to the attendees. Um, our next board meeting is this Monday evening at six thirty. Um, and yeah, we can send you the link. Yeah, that would be great. I feel like. If, if if at all possible, I know that's kind of short notice, but if at all possible, it would be I would love to attend that one just so I have a little bit more time to to understand it before like the the yeah. next like kind of, kind of close to the deadline. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the the one tomorrow. Um, yeah, wow, tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. Um, one tomorrow would be great um, to join, and I think the next one after that's March twenty seventh, but that's like right before the yeah um, the declaration. So yeah, yeah. If you want to join tomorrow, I'll send you a link. Cool. Thanks so much. Cool. Awesome. So I think that's all. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thanks again, Jackie. Great to meet you. Thank you, Jackie. And then the rest of us are going to stay on just for a few minutes to debrief. Okay. Yeah. Thanks so much. Have a have a good rest of your day. Bye. Thank okay. you. Bye, Jackie.